Hello there everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, when we left it last, Henry was about to attempt to exact, I'm not really going to say vengeance, but more extreme violence upon the persons of these two scoundrels who've been hiding out into the woods here. We've also gained quite a bit of armor now. So pretty much anything short of leg blows and we should be okay. Which means we're probably now going to get hit in the legs rather an awful lot. And I'll just quick check there. Yeah, all good. Now. Oh, look at that visor. I like that. I do like that. And there's blood all over this sword. Get that shield up. Yeah. Let's put the sword away for now, though. Don't want to make him immediately suspicious as we approach. Although, I mean, really, it would be very nice if we could split them up and deal with them one at a time. But that just doesn't seem. That's not bull rushes, is it? That's um, a very pinky, purplish looking. That doesn't seem right, sir. So, I mean, it's like. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're on a path. Ah, hello. You're an evil shitbag. What was that? Greetings, my good man. May I ask you a question? Ask first, then I'll ask you something. Oh, really? <laughs> Look good at thing. that armor. We're looking for Ginger, a stable boy at a nearby stud farm. Have you seen him anywhere? I was just about to ask you two the same thing. I'm looking for him too. <laughs> then it's a pity neither of us have found him yet. Thank heavens I've found you though. I imagine you two might be able to tell me something about Neuhoff. Hmm? I see. <laughs> well, we can give you a little demonstration of what happened there. All right, Henry. I'll slaughter you. <laughs> okay, you. <laughs> Effing! Wow, well, just. Oh. oh wow! You've got he weak at the knees, have you? Um. No. You get it. Have it, you fucking die! Right. useless. I swear, this, this bloody fucking forest! Not a big fan of this forest at the moment. Not a big fan at all. Right. That's got me a bit angry. That's not good. Not good at all. I mean, is there really just no way to kill these fucking imbeciles? Sorry, it's just, uh... Look, they swore more than I have so far, okay? <laughs> I think I just need to walk up, blade out, and see if I can still talk to him. Yeah, you better run, rabbit. Run, run, run. Because Henry is on the warpath and he's pissed off. He's also a complete numpty when it comes to fighting two blokes at once. Hello, you. What's his name? Oi. Greetings, my good man. Oh, good, I May can. May I ask you a question? Ask first, then I'll ask you something. Really? 
Good then. We're looking for Ginger, a stable boy at a nearby stud farm. Have you seen him anywhere? I was just about to ask you. It's on the other side of the screen now. This time. I'm looking for him what? too. Then it's a pity neither of us have found him yet. Thank heavens I've found you, though. I it's a pity I got my sword in my hand and you haven't. Hmm? I see. Well, we can give you a little demonstration of what happened there. Have it! Okay, uh, up, is that... Ah! Effing... Why can't I F him? Ah! Ah! Nope. Okay. All right. Bloody hell, Henry! Go on. Go on. Die, you evil! Cunt of deafness, and there's no fucking way that's a body. It's not long enough. <laughs> Seriously, they call that a body. Ooh, mercenary's bedfellow. Please tell me that's a strength sword. Wow, finally, this is a short sword requires agility. Great, shard requires free agility. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, more stab, less slash. I don't like stabbing, it's just fucking poncy and makes me think you got some stupid little rapier and you're gonna poke someone with a bit of wire repeatedly and go, uh, uh, I touched you with a quarter of an inch of the end of the thing and it's gonna really make you drop down dead. No, it's not fucking hit him! You know, just like Henry did to these bastards. In fact, Henry's better with a sword now. Um, yeah, I'd see that requires a long sword, and Henry doesn't really have any of those at the moment. And he should try to get some. Uh, nothing really to, um, I mean, all are really good. What here? Oh, horsemanship, right. Okay, Henry. You've defeated these evil shitbags. Now take their stuff. What the hell are you fighting, Henry? Honestly, why? Right. Skullcap, a small armorer's kit, torch, knicker's boots, silver ring, arrow, arrow, coif. He didn't have a bow, though. Take that, and that. Uh, take his gloves. Yeah, we can leave him his trousers, they're too badly damaged to, you know, at least give him some dignity. I pressed the wrong key there and wondered why I couldn't move. Alright. Really, apple, apple, black and white hood. Uh. Alright. And they have a chest and no key. No key on these two individuals for the chest in their camp. Why do they not have a key? Have they lost it? Is this somebody else's camp? I should totally move these bodies. I just stagger off into the woods here. Henry appears to be injured. Injured head. Really? Better be bloody careful then. Alright, alright, alright. That's as far as he's gonna go. What on earth has happened to his trousers, his crotch? His I must have really cut them up very badly. Alright, and then you... get to go over here 
somewhere. Bloody hell, Henry, you can't get very far, can you? All right, all right, all right. Just ditch him there. It, it's not the the most perfect hiding of bodies ever in existence, but it will do. And now we'll go back to Henry's horse and pick up his own small armourer's kit, which... Where's... Bloody... Oh, fuck, his dogs. Seriously, where's the key? They got a cooking pot. Okay, eat, Henry. No! Just eat. Alright. How are you doing for food? Okay, good. Now let's go and hope that some of our equipment in that fight got damaged only lightly enough for us to be able to repair it and improve Henry's maintenance skill. Because that would be nice, wouldn't it? But then, is it separate maintenance skills for all of the different repairs? It seems to be one, but we can train them differently as some teachers, so do they actually train separately? Like, um, the training gives a an improvement to that particular kind of mending. Could do. Yeah, just stay on the path, Henry. You're kind of, you know, badly smacked in the head. Just be grateful you had that helmet on. In fact, it... because you could be, like, concussed or something. I didn't even notice Henry getting hit on the head. Does it just randomise the injuries to body locations, or or does it actually, because I thought Henry was mostly getting hit in the body and legs there, and maybe a bit in the arms, but mostly body and legs, from what I recall. Henry, you're a hero. You might not feel like it. You might feel like you just took a major kicking but you came out of that fight alive, and they didn't. And the main reason, let's be completely honest here, the main reason for that was armour. It wasn't any skill of yours. Worse luck. Now. Oh, why are these greyed out now? That's interesting. We'll take this back. Come on. I will. Double clicking won't do it. That's really annoying. Come on. No, I don't want to... there. Dear God. Oh. Oh, we have horse equipment as well. Of course we do. We want a nice comparison. Some horse armour. Don't worry, it's not a free DLC or anything. It's just... At least I hope it's not free. Right. Uh, 88, 62. What? Which one's the knackered one and which one's the... I'm going to presume this is the knackered one. Yeah. Oh, look. Henry can mend things. I mean, it's not, it's not much, but... Henry can still mend things. Yeah. Feel strong, Henry. Feel amazing. You can fix things. Where are we? Oh, we got a perk. We do have a perk. Right. When freshly laundered clothes on you have higher charisma by one for one day. Yeah. If you're wearing boots you repaired yourself, sprinting will cost you twenty percent less stamina so you can run for longer. Um The thing is, when it comes to that fine fragrance. Henry has a manly odour. Yeah. So women are going to like him anyway. But, you know, sometimes Henry has to speak to men as well. Sometimes members of the nobility. And he doesn't always want to turn up stinking dirty. So... Yeah, I will take this. Because Henry hasn't been able to mend any boots yet. And I imagine that's going to take like a... Uh, Cobbler's kit or something. There we are. 
nice little flower. And since we're near Ujits anyway, we might finally get the opportunity for Henry to learn how to read and write. I feel so pleased to have finally defeated those two scumbags. I don't even want to know how many episodes it's been. <laughs> oh. And I don't know what Henry managed to retreat up last time and hey, this is not the road to be taking. Oh god, it's really not the road to be taking. Well, okay. Henry. We'll go back here. Nope, just go back this way. It'll be quicker. You wanna go stand on the other side of the stream for a bit? Ah, easy, easy, easy. Bear right, 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 right. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now, Henry, your ass don't seem to notice the path you're on. It's crashing into trees and stuff, or you're just riding funny because you took a nasty knock on the head. Now, on the off chance that it's not the horse, but rather the rider, and his severe head injury, well, it's not that severe yet. It can be made severe, but let's uh, see. So yeah, this path is not enough to count as a road. Slow down, Henry. Give the horse a rest. It's carrying a heavy load. In fact, you're carrying a heavy load. Why don't you offload some of that onto the horse? Because that's a really sensitive thing to do. Oh god, Henry, that's a lot. Right, okay. That's still not a Bardiche! A Bardiche is like a, a, a long handled axe, like almost up to Henry's shoulder, with a blade that comes out predominantly at the top and often fixes at a second point down the half. So it's, it's basically a pole arm, you know. Or at least a larger... I mean, this is just a one-handed axe. Okay, that seems like a generic axe description. It's also very bad. It needs strength 7. Hey, it's a strength weapon! I suppose this club is also a strength weapon. It is, and it's not a very good one. But you got to start somewhere, Henry. So we'll put this on the horse. And you did pick up a lot of... Ooh. No. No, 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 no. That's on the body? You'd think that'd be on the... On the shoulders, right. Okay. Uh, nope. Nope. Those are in better condition. But they're cheaper. Why are they cheaper? Must be that overall they are inferior when in perfect condition. Yeah, just put them both on the horse, Henry. Don't stop to think about it. Right. What is Henry... It's going to be food of some sort, isn't it? Okay. Wait. Out of 101? Henry, my boy, has your strength gone up? It has gone up. And strength gets a perk every other... Oh, right. So, at level 6, we can get... Deplete an opponent's health and stamina by bumping into him at a sprint. This effect is increased if your armor is heavier than his. Interesting. Um... Oh! That's nice. And now, then, we're going above level 6. Okay, okay. And would there be something every second level? So level 6 again, we could get one of these. And that is... Okay, Savage, Scout, Brute. Brute would be the 8 and above. 
Okay. Interesting. Well, for now, Henry, just ride on gently. Safe in my knowledge, but those two villains will not trouble you again. Safe for maybe in your dreams. But Henry, be proud. Justice has been done. Be proud and be humble. And you might have missed your objective ever so slightly, but I don't think you have. Okay, does this count as a path yet? No, it does not count as a path. Okay. Oh, there's a nest there, which we haven't found before, which means this is somewhere we haven't been before. Which means, Henry, you might have kind of lost the plot a bit. But nope, that bridge looks okay. Alright, now, is this good enough? Yes, it is. This now counts as a road! Hooray! Uh-oh. Is it gonna... Is it gonna... Yes, it is. Okay, Henry, just... Hold it there. You're going to need to dismount soon. Uh, hello, strange man walking towards me. Who the hell are you? You are the man I do not want to talk to while I'm on this horse. Okay then. I shall dismount in all my fancy armour. And you know what? I'm going to be really, really nice. Take my bloody helmet off so they can see my face when I talk to them. So I don't look like a dis dishonourable, intimidating monster. Hello, Bran. I don't know who you are. Oh, he wants to talk to one of these twins. Here, you'll do. You're the one I talked to before. Wait, stop going away from me. Come here. Good day to you. You don't have to worry about those bandits anymore. I dealt with them. Really? I dealt with them. And I suppose I have to take your word oh. for it. If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Alright, a bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Uzit until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the road to Uzit. Wow, look at that shadow, it's so bulky. It's mostly the shield. Oh, now which road to Ujits? Because there's a couple of different... Well, it's basically this way. And there's going to be a turning on the right, leads to a small stream with a little path on the right. But what we're going to do, because we've been told we can easily miss this, is, Henry, you're going to easily miss this. And you're going to go to Ujits and learn your letters and then come find Jin... Oh, but the call of honour. It's so tricky. Henry, when you find him there could be nasty bastards there and nasty bastards tend to know how to fight better than you do. Is this our path to the right? No. Path to the right leads to a small stream. I mean, those, those dogs in the forest I hear barking. How can it be right there? So, take the road to Ujits. Path to the right leads to a small stream. Okay, I, I get you, I get you. Okay, so it's that small stream. Oh, it is the right thing to do, but Henry, you are injured, my boy. And it's a head wound. If you do have your head bashed in, how are you going to learn to read and write and concentrate? I mean, it's a lot safer than fighting anyone who might come to kill Ginger. But I'm just hoping the fact that, 
you know, no one else has found Ginger yet means that there's been no one following me, because I think I would have bloody noticed them by now if they were, or at least someone would have noticed. They would, you know, the charcoal burners would have told me, hey, see that bloke following you as you leave our camp? Unless it's one of the other charcoal burners. I mean, that bugger did run off after he got beat up. Easy, easy there. Right. I'm actually gonna go check. Um. Right. I need to go to the right on the northern path to Ujits and carry on until we reach a pond. Okay. Okay. So, in that case, it's not back down this way. And I can continue to ride towards Ujits safely. Safe in the knowledge that, hey, wait, you know what, Henry? You got bashed on the head, get off the horse. Get off the horse. You killed those two evil shitbags. It's time to celebrate. There we go. Now you can put your helmet back on in case you run into any trouble along the way. Now you can mount back up and ride to glory, victory, and some kind of turning on the right that leads to a pond. Let's take it nice and slow though. We don't want to... Eh, solid. Not that nice and slow. Folk, the fellow did say it's easy to miss, but I think he means the path leading away from the pond. I'm not really sure this counts as the northern road to Ujits. That might be the road from the other camp. However, let's take a good look at our map. Where the hell is this pond? I mean, it seems to be right there. But that doesn't tally up with the description at all. Oh, there's a grave. Henry, when did you explore here? I don't remember you coming this way at all. The grave should be off to the left now anytime soon. Oh no. Still away yet. Okay, about there somewhere. Or blatantly just there. Blatantly there. Okay. Let's ride and ride and ride. I think we're coming up to a crossroads soon. Yeah. So then, if we take this turning on the right... Woo, there, Pebbles. Easy now, valiant steed. Uh, well, not that valiant. Henry's drunk, okay. he be riding through the forest. We have a nasty bang on the head. And, er... Uh, oh, yeah. See, there's no pond. Wait. Turn right. Pond. Oh god, and then take a per... That can't be right. Turn right, pond. Path from right that's really easy to miss. That's not really easy to miss, that's blatantly obvious. But hold on. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, Henry. Stop here a moment. You're drunk. You've got a treasure map. It's not that one. I haven't found that one yet, actually. Ah, Ujits. Right. Windmill. 
a kind of weird zigzag diagonal H formation. So, like uh, two roads like this, a windmill could that be a windmill there. And you are a bit drunk, Henry, let's be fair. Oh, actually, you're not drunk, you've sobered up. But that bang on the head is still giving you a bit of grief. Right, easy, easy, easy. Stop trying to bear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Well, you're on a path. It might not be the path you had intended, but. Whoa, Henry, that's going steep and. Here's your pond. I do like the pond scum floating on the surface there. Interesting sight indeed. We'll find out why in a few moments. But for now, Henry, don't ride across that ploughed field. Some nice farmer is growing crops there, and if you ruin them, people will have to eat, you know. Including you. And if you don't get to eat sometime, because people have been trampling across crops, well then you're a bloody idiot, aren't you, Henry? Okay, okay. Why is that an interesting sight? I don't know. Let's just ride on up here for a bit. Hey, Ujits is larger than I thought. We got a shrine. Bit of space here. Oh god, is it getting late? Is it getting near dusk? Let's take a moment to look at this. Oh! Northwest of Ujits. Oh, we got a long way to go then. It's gonna be like, um, you know, out out here somewhere. Okay. Oh, I didn't check the time. It says a butcher's here. So people say there's a retired scribe in Ujits, somewhere, who can teach Henry how to read and write a little bit. And then, Henry, not Henry, Henry is one of the characters from Far From a Madding Crowd who insists on pronouncing his name Henry because that's what his parents called him on his birth certificate or when they named him, and so that's how he's going to say it, and he forces everyone else to say it that way as well. Which is kind of useful, because there's like a couple of other characters called Henry, so Henry being separate is, is, is pretty the only memorable thing about him, to be honest. Poor fellow is probably entitled to his bit of awkwardness and being memorable. I should probably... Uh, hello people, can I talk to you from my horse? No, I have as to get off apparently. Um, that's not good. Right, well I'll do that then. Well, get off my horse, see? And that woman's walking away from me, it'd be blooming awkward. Hello you. Wait, no, that? that's... Can I just, like, talk to you? Nope, not you. Wow, they're not a very talkative bunch, are they? I was wanting to talk to this woman and she's walked away. Ugh. When all of a sudden I see this purse right there in the ground. No. Was there much in it? Half a dozen brush and then change. By Christ, that was worth bending down for, eh? Indeed. I couldn't believe it. You know what? Half a dozen groschen. Henry found how many now? 
Oh yeah, 246. Go, Henry. Yet another evil fast travel point, which should be banned and killed for the good of all humanity. Oi. Can we get a nicer... We can get a nice view. It's up here. Hmm. Quest tipster. Okay, I'll bear that in my... Wait a minute. Okay, we don't get a good view of this... There's the mill! There is the mill. Nice thing about medieval maps is that they are... You know, all these extra details, they do actually mean something. You know, landmarks are not necessarily portrayed to scale, but very informative. Oh, have I gone too far? I kind of gone too far. All right. She just changed her clothes in public. In the street! Henry, look away. It, uh, Henry didn't know where to look. He was, he was very disturbed. Traumatised, in fact. I mean, he, he, he wants to, to see Bianca do that one or two times. So he might have seen a little bit more of her than some of her fellas, but... He's he, he thinking about Teresa now, and this, this wanton woman up no good. See? Hello, lady. You're not like that woman, are you? You're you're a nice lady, aren't you? You're you're very nice. You're so nice. You're not even going to talk to me. I'm not going to look at you. You're um, you're, you're like uh, ladies, uh, undergarments, frilly bits. Very confused. Oh, it is described. Um, it's it's like a website where you can get books where people can't write scribed properly and they they missed out the e, so it's scribed because they're like I don't know idiots or something. Henry, can you get in here? Um, hello? Hello? Hang on, Henry. Yeah. Make yourself a little presentable. Um, ha hello? Mr. Scribe? All right, sorry, didn't mean to. That's... Hello? Okay, okay, I'll... I'll uh... After, um... Find somewhere to sleep, I think. Your front door was wide open, uh, lady and man. That's not proper. I, I could have come in and robbed you and murdered you as you slept. It's not nice, is it? Is there a... an inn? Or grocer? Trader? I mean, where is Henry gonna sleep? It's outrageous. So we've got a trader. I mean, actually, what is the time? Yeah, it is late. This looks like it. Yeah, that's right. Hello, innkeeper. My respects to you. Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Indeed there is. Around here? Uh oh. <laughs> you should hear about what Vashek the groom has been up to at the stables. <laughs> when the head groom told the lads here, they fell off their seats laughing. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, and another thing. Just last night, Father Godwin was here calling fire and brimstone down an old Gertrude, the herb woman. He's not one to make a fuss over some trifle either. 
Um, I, I'm kind of very sleepy, sir. Can I sleep here? Certainly. For how long? Well, I was thinking just for one night, really. Just for one night? Sure, but let's see your coin first. These are harsh times. Okay, I'm not going to haggle over this. This would be, be really suspicious. And Henry, don't be a cheapskate. Here you go. You all like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud, it is. Where do I go to sleep? You'll have no trouble finding it. Right inside the door to the building, there's a ladder up to the loft. Look where you're going. Your bed's ready there, and a trunk for your belongings. A ladder? I'll fetch it right away. Now. A ladder in this much armor. Okay, right through the door. Ladder on the right. That ain't no ladder. Um, that door's shut. Let's check in here. You know, as ladders go, I horribly suspect it's going to be through this door here. I was starting to wonder if I was in the wrong building. Climbing a ladder in this much armor is potentially... I'm not going to steal from them. Potentially disastrous. Let's try not to do it too often. I also have a horrible suspicion... I'm going to get to this... This trunk. Okay, there's a bed. Where's this chest from my belongings? Yeah, magic teleporting chest of cheating, I will not use thee. No. All that stuff's back at Milopeshek's place. I do not like the cheating. Right, Henry. You're not going to sleep in armour because you're not a complete imbecile. Okay, that was quite disturbing there, Henry. Try not to worry about it. Uh, better take these off, those, that. Yeah. yeah, go get some good sleep, Henry. In the morning, you's gonna be learning to read, boy. Maybe. And, and maybe then you'll, um, have got over this head wound. Let's have a nice long sleep. There we go. Lovely. Oh yeah. You're gonna be hungry when you wake up Henry and probably need to do a wee wee. Ah, wonderful. It's morning. You might wanna Put that back on. Uh, don't overdo it, Henry. You don't want to look like a complete... Look, don't turn up at the scribe's place looking like you're going to kill him. Okay? What's this need? This needs agility. Everything needs agility. We don't need it. Okay, agility free. No, yeah, that's a stabbing sword. You know what? Of that. Um, I think we want to stay from overt armor, overt metal armor. Okay, now let's take that off. Um, gloves. Here we go, gloves. That'll about do it for our visit to the scribe. Actually, Henry. It's a bloody big shield. Carry it in a convenient manner. So, something interesting about armor is that the easiest way to carry a piece of armor is to put it on. It's like a helmet, for example. You know, you can carry it in your hand, tuck it under your arm, or just stick it on your head. Right? And generally, it's like, how do you carry a coat, right? It's like, you take your coat off, right? 
and you can sling it over your shoulder, you know, drape it around your shoulders, tie the sleeves together or whatever. But the easiest way to carry it is the way it was intended to be, you know, just wear it, put it on. It's just ergonomic, you know. And ergonomic is a word Henry doesn't know yet. But maybe he might improve his vocabulary a little bit when he comes near to visit this scribe. Hello, people. I've come to invade your house or property. And why is that bell ringing? That's bad news. Um, people, I wanted to... Um, are you still abed? You are still abed. Well, I'll just have to wait a bit more then. I'll even go wait outside. Just close your doors for you, because you left your door wide open last night. Okay. Does that ringing bell mean something really bad, or is it just waking people up? Because you'd expect the cockerels to do that. That does look like a lot of smoke, Henry, but I think it's coming from... A chimney. This sounds like the village church. It'd better be the village church. Yep. Well, okay. What time are we? We'll give it another hour. Look, if he's a retired scribe, he'll he'll like his nice long sleep-ins in the morning. Just like me. Um, hello lady. Y you happen to bear a remarkable resemblance to many of the other women in this game. You got, you know, brown skin and brown hair. Actually, your skin's a bit browner than most of the others. But they do look a bit samey from time to time. Game didn't have a massive budget, see. Well... Nice enough. You know, it's maybe massive enough, obviously, because look at all the things they managed to make. Henry, let's try again. Hello, house. I will open your door. I will come inside, and your occupants will still be in bed, won't they? Bloody hell, Henry. No! Not a bed. Right then. I'm gonna like find out that this is the wrong house completely. The scribe lives in the house next door, aren't I? No, maybe not. Oh wow, that's a lot of people. It's more than the two who were sleeping here last night. You are a villager. You are a bailiff. Oh, you're a bailiff. Right, and you are a villager. A nondescript person of no name. You have a magnificent act. Good day to you. And he wasn't sleeping in here last night either. Uh, I'd like to learn to read. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look oh. like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? Clerk? I taught all sorts. Bear in mind. I mean, clerk. We're not American. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. Yes, that's one of those words that is pronounced differently depending on where in the world you come from. Um... Alright. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the <laughs> better. Very well. I will require some groshing from you, though. And set yeah. aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces. If indeed time is of the essence. Oh. Alright. Well, I'll pay him. I've got no money. Here are your groshen. Then we may as well start. A few days, eh? He did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. That's really quiet. <laughs> Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. Okay. You've reached There's a new a level in reading. Try to read it. Well, Objective started. To read the book. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. 
Where is it? I mean, seriously, where... Where is this simple codex? Is this it? One Addy. <laughs> One Addy, a country -na. Henry's not very good at reading yet. Going to the nest of his goose. Funnud hater na egg. All yellow and all gittering. I like all gittering. <laughs> when he took it up. It was as heavy as lead, and he was sat going to throw it to we because he flogged a trick had been played up no him, but he took it or him. He took it home on Essokant Forts and soon found Ot. Shouldn't we soon found out? So, soon found too. Soon found Ot his delict that it was uh, an egg of pure gold. Oh, Henry found one of them. Every morning, the same thing occurred. Adam, he soon became rich by selling his gegs. As he grew rich, he grew greedy and finicked to get at Ockney all the gold to goose could give. He echoed it and opened it only to ifend. Tohin Is that success? Have I successfully read the book? I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? I learned that reading is difficult. Um something about I need to read it again. Yeah, being greedy didn't pay off for him, but did being it? Being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson. Oh God, which Latin. Which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, <laughs> the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage. Mate, if after a day he's managed to learn to read that, he's a fucking genius. Where's this, where's this Latin book? Oh, it's, can I just sit here? I can sit here. Great. And now I just can't interrupt. Oh, I can. Good. Oh, God. Unlsu est ibiertam malsu ut non... El qua aperte that's probably a different prosit libri muti amgistri snut poitmus orator est qui is that poxy? Ah, come here, right. Uh, veribs should be like verbis plurima disit. Okay. Ain't got a bloody clue. Henry, you're, you're reading and, and getting better, but you're learning. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? Sorry, 
Discipule. Oh my god. Um, oh, this is pure guesswork. Nullus, nullus, dullest. Um, okay, parte. There was parte with an E. Yes. Nullus est liber tam malus, ut non aliquer parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. <laughs> Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you can go and be ordained right He's joking, away. right? Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. Right. New perk. And we can get reading perks. I like that. Right. Colleague. All books are cheaper in shops. In the flow when reading you will get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal. Absolutely. I mean, reading is great fun. I love it. I mean, pr as for prices... You know, Henry's a poor boy. He's not exactly had things cheap ever that much, so... Yeah, I like that. Ooh, art connoisseur. First time you look at a fresco, cross, or wayside shrine, your charisma will increase temporarily by plus two. Oh, that reminds me. I can read those now. Nice. Very nice. Well, having learned his letters, although not quite learned what order to read them in yet... Henry's going to go and be a really proud man. He's going to feel so very special and proud and happy and, and joyful. And now he's going to go ride and find Ginger. But bloody hell, this episode's probably been going on for a little bit of a while now. Henry, if you're going to mount up and ride off to rescue someone who could be in great danger, like really great danger, mind. Oh, put that back on then you're gonna want to go get, like, well protected. I tell you about you, whoa, whoa. Bloody hell, Henry. Coif under coif. Then your helmet. Yeah. Yep, uh... Um, when it comes to the arrows, it's just going to be a case of whatever we've got the most of, to be honest. And that'd be those. Alright, now mount up. And ride. Don't mind me, I'm a fella in really fancy armour, riding through your town. Talking like a right yokel. I'm from Scarlet's. All the knights talk like this in Scarlet's. Even the one what doesn't talk like this. He does. He does, you know. It, it's, it's just like what he does. Now, Henry. See this nice lady with a basket? Don't knock her down. Just ride past. Be nice. She looked a lot like your mother, Henry. Most men look like your mother to you, Henry. But now, you're starting to learn letters, reading and writing. You should put that to good use. I mean, you're a clever boy. You could already work out the name of Rate on some maps when you couldn't even read it because it looked the same as like what you'd seen written down before on some signpost or something. Are we even remotely... oh god. No, not really. Okay. Wasn't there a shrine out around here somewhere? Yeah, it's up there. Okay, Henry, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to ride along here, pretend we didn't take a wrong turn, and ease into the actual correction. 
Oh wow, this is a steep ass slope, isn't it? Yeah. Just keep going, nice and steady, nice and slow. You've been a few days, Ginger might be dead. I'm not sure how many days it is, because we don't have an actual date to keep track of, do we? Do we have seasons in this game? I mean... I mean, how long is this game supposed to take? You know, if... Seasons would imply a very long playtime indeed. Now, Henry, get off your bloody horse and see if you can make out what is written on this thing. Even remotely. Yeah. Hello, Shrine. Tuma Petr, Mark Cloud, wait. Sam Paley, Roth, I'm on. Yeah, that's got to be Kickstarter backers. Gotta be. Mark Cloud. Well, it could be, I mean, it could also be McLeod, pun, you see. So, yeah. Well, that's technically pronounced. Uh, it's technically spelt McLeod or something ridiculous. Oh, Gaelic spelling's going to be a nightmare sometimes. Alright. Well, we're going to go find Ginger. God, this is going to be... I don't know how long... Excellent. Okay, that's not good. Right. Let's take a moment to look at our map. and We are on the wrong road. That just stands out so much, that one building there. Wait. Two parallel roads. No. Parallel diagonals and... Yeah. Gonna, we're going to go back towards Ujits at some point. But for now, Henry... You've got a path to correct. Oh god, Henry, that's for pond. Don't... Don't fall into it. Henry, what did I say about not falling into the pond? Oh god, Henry, you are one of the worst riders ever. But that's okay, you know? You could be a terrible rider and you haven't... Look, you made it across that bit of grass and through those bushes without falling out of the saddle. You're somewhat vaguely competent. Allegedly. In theory. Maybe a little bit. And you want to be turning right here, Henry. And keep your heads down as you go past those branches. You are riding to perform a heroic rescue for someone who better be grateful. Now, did they mean to actually take that path there and say, well, I'm just going this way. Stuff it. Um, okay. We need to go to the, to the right on the northerly path to Ujits and carry on until we reach a pond. From there is an old overgrown path that leads straight to Ginger's hideout. I'd, okay. <coughs> I saw that old overgrown path. We did. So there's a pond. And if we go this way, it's the single most roundabout route to lead us there, but. Now nah, it's just gonna be this road again, isn't it? Somewhere in here, there's a path to the right. It's not, it's not a path. Oh, oh, hello. No, no, okay. Hmm. So obviously what I'm doing here is tracing back to the camp. That's 
hopefully just light on a tree trunk, but it looks like a big sack of... No, it's a stone. Ooh, some nice deer. There we go, this way. I mean, I should be coming up on this path here soon, right? Oh no, it's a lot further. Okay. spot where well, we want to avoid that. Boars have a foul temper, Henry, and you are barely competent horsemen as it is. Speaking of barely competent, you're probably also famished. And riding really badly. How are you doing for food, Henry? Not well. Okay, dismount. Eating in the saddle is possible, but not preferable. What have you got here? Oh, you got an apple that's kind of going off. You got a mushroom that's really going off, and you might get a bit sick, but you're really hungry. And you. That honey is keeping remarkably well. Okay, eat that. Eat that. There we go. Good. And have some of this. There you go. That's much better, Henry. Henry, why don't you have your pauldrons on? Go on. That's more like it. Alright. Now. Oh. It's just occurred to me. <laughs> yeah. That when Henry goes out for his nice little walk with Bianca, he probably doesn't want to be wearing a ton of armor. I mean, look. I wasn't going to do that anyway, but he should probably actually invest in maybe some nice fancy clothes, make a bit of an effort. Maybe even have a bit of a wash before... Oh wait, but no, he's got that nice manly smell, he doesn't want to wash away that... That musk, that odour... That... Is not a pond, Henry. It could be, but it's not. But if we just presume the pond is somewhere near here and, and work up from... Okay. Ow. It's like over here, isn't it? In an area Henry has only recently crossed. You know what, stuff it. This episode's already a long one. I'll... Okay, yeah, Henry's kind of sick because he's eaten mushrooms that have gone off. Camp? Well then, we'll dismount. This isn't a camp, this is a house! a well-hidden house, mind. Henry, do the right thing. Don't scare the boy. There we go. And invest in some decent leg armor, for goodness sake. Hello. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? 
Right, one thing at a time. <laughs> Why did you run? Why did you run off in such a hurry? Because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. Why did you? Why did you kill that bandit? What bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? Hey. I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits, and he has a limp. Uh oh. That's just bad. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ujits, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Okay, that's seriously dodgy. We're talking like whole um, dragon steel dagger from a Song of Ice and Fire level of things changing hands bullshit here. Um... And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. <laughs> All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. See how long it actually is. I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light. But it wasn't. Then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. Hmm. I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. Oh, it was terrible. Like hell itself. So obviously and they wanted to put these people out of business. It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. Yeah, that I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He <laughs> was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside, and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. He ran off with the others. I, I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran back. Mm -hmm. And then? And then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. Ooh. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. Th there might have been maybe eight of them. And two of them were really big. That's all oh, I can two remember. big ones. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. Hmm. Yeah, easily talked into it. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yell. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. You probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But hmm. still... There was nothing you could do. That's all. Ooh. Um, I think I already know everything that happened. And now tell me exactly what happened. Oh, yeah. This and is... don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. You don't have to tell me a... I only recognize... What else, Gina? Nothing. Okay, just in case and now tell me it exactly actually... What oh, wait. I don't... Okay. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you <laughs> help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help oh, me? Oh, shit, I've got They're to go kill of more of them, haven't I? I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm 
afraid to go back to the farm. I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. I could go and ask them if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats. Yeah. And then I'll probably have to come back here and let him know, because how would he know otherwise? I like the fact that he didn't automatically, magically, telepathically know that those two scumbags were dead. Even though I'd been gone for days, and it would be easy to imagine that one of the charcoal burners could have told him. Henry, you ne really need to work on that repair skill. <laughs> Savile Row. But for now... You've got a rescue... Uh, well... Gotta go talk to people in the town. But I think what I'm gonna do... Is end the episode here. And... I'll say goodnight everyone, because it's like half past five in the morning here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I stayed up late recording these few. And yeah, I've, I've quite enjoyed these ones. I've had a lot of fun these last couple of episodes, and I hope you've all enjoyed it as well. And I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll say bye-bye for now, and cheerio!